Um, and then so some of the other options in here are you can turn off the close button so they can't click on the little X and kill your game. You have to give them another way to get out or they'll have to kill it in the task manager. Probably not a great way to go about things, but good to give them a way to get out normally. That's, that's the best way is to give them a standard route to get out of your game, right? Exiting through the menu. Uh, suspend when minimized. Uh, that's basically telling us is if the game is minimized, does it continue to execute or does it pause the game and stop simulating? Uh, personally, I prefer uh, suspend when minimized, uh, but that doesn't always make sense. You could be making a game where you want the game to continue making progress, even if they've minimized it. It, it depends. But if you're if you're playing like a shooter, like we're doing, I would probably make this false, because let's say that they were they decided to Skype Grandma in the middle of a the game. They had minimized their game and go Skype Grandma or whomever. I was trying to make Charles laugh while I was drinking, but it didn't work. <coughs> Sorry, Charles. <laughs> Charles is like, that it was totally uncool. That's mean, man. <laughs> hey, it's been done to me. Uh, and it would be really bad if they lost all their progress in your game while they were doing something else. If they had the expectation that it would be paused while it was minimized. So, okay, so maybe I'm not understanding. So, suspend... When minimized, wouldn't it go ahead and suspend? Wouldn't you want to? When uh, we're talking about suspend, are we talking about just like stopping the game? Or are we talking about? Yeah, no, what I'm saying is, is, okay, so the way the game works is it's got like a, a loop. Most people will think of it this way. Is there, it's no. like a main loop. And this loop executes every frame where um, Corona says, do I have any work to do? Yes. And it does that work. Has the user touched the keyboard? Have they done anything that's going to affect the state of the game? Do I need to make updates? Yes, 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 yes. Do I have any timers running that I need to do something about? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Have it, are there any transitions that have made some progress where I need to change some rendering or values? All these things that are going on. And every time it loops, these things get updated. So the transitions, they increment a little bit. Timers, they advance a little bit. Uh, all the inputs that are get accounted for that were touches and mouse moves and all that stuff. But consider you're running your game. We have a new uh, member just joined. You're running your game and you've got some artificial intelligence in your game and uh, whatever. Your game's running and it's doing some stuff in the background. And uh, then you minimize your game. Now, what should happen, in my mind, is that the game loop should stop temporarily. <laughs> yeah, you're logged in. You're logged in. <laughs> Brian's logged in under somebody else's account name. Very nice. So anyways, uh, but that doesn't have to be true. If you set this to false and minimize the game, everything, the, the game loop will continue running in the background. And so for a game where it should have paused, this could be disastrous for the player because they unminimize and they say, I just lost because I wasn't paying attention and the game went on without me and my player is dead. I think when even a game uh, minimized, you still receive an event that the application has been suspended and you can create your own pause menu. I like when games, when I minimize them and I uh, go back to them, uh, they show up this pause dialog, and I can click resume when I want. Not right, right. So what you're saying, Sergey, is instead of taking the decision out of the hands of the user, you detect it, you do the right thing, and then when they come back, you give them the option to not just immediately start up and go, you, when, as soon as you click this button, then I'll resume play so you don't get like smacked in the, smacked in the face. Sorry, yeah, that's right. Tom. Okay, we've talked about that a bit. Anyways, I'm going to leave this as suspend when minimized is true. I want it to suspend. Uh, enable the maximize button is just this business right here, or the equivalent of a maximize button on your window. Um, what did I say here? Oh, trying to make that fit a little better. Okay, here's the part. Uh, that I talked about earlier where you would you have the option now in build settings to set up some defaults. So regardless of what you said about the config Lua, which is you said this is my design resolution. 
treat the world as if it's 960 by 640. What you're saying in build settings at this point is regardless of what the configuration is for the, the config Lua says, when I really display this thing, what is the default width and height that I want to display at? So for example, I could change this to 320 by 480. And now my in-game design space would be 320 pixels by 480 pixels tall. But in build settings, I've left it as when you open this and if you display it as a non-maximized window, make that window 640 pixels uh, wide and 960 pixels tall, twice the resolution. So this has nothing to do with in-game pixel resolution. This is, you're telling the game how you want it to display on whatever monitor you're targeting. Just the size now, the of the window, right? Just, the, just, sure. just, just the, how the, the window opens up. That exactly. It's just it's the size totally of the about window. the size of the window. Physical, physical size of the window. Yeah. Let me get this back here. So the thing that's important to understand about this is you may be tempted to say, okay, well, my monitor is 1920 by 1080, and I'm going to make a windowed app, so I'll make this 1920 by 1080. Well, that would be the wrong decision. First of all, if you make a windowed app, windowed apps have a little bit of extra cruft. They got some borders, they got a header, they got the buttons at the top. So if you make the resolution 10, uh, 1920 by 1080, it's going to be bigger than the screen, and it's going to it's going to be off the screen a little bit. What you really want to do for a windowed game is choose a nice half resolution or third resolution, maybe if you want to go down that far. So some nice resolution that still has a good aspect ratio related to your design ratio, but is smaller than the the smallest screen you can imagine somebody running this on, so that when they run it. I don't know if you, you guys have experienced this, but like in the olden days, in the, when it was sort of like the wild, wild west for, um, for games, and we were getting all the new technology, and we were all excited to have like a 320 by 480 monitor, and then one of us got a 1024 by 768. I'm just making up these resolutions. But you remember when monitors were going through like these advances, and they were getting bigger and wider and more and more and more? But unfortunately for us, we didn't have the newest, latest, greatest one. We still had the one from last year, but some designer, some game designer said, I'm taking advantage of the new resolution. And then you try to run their game on your, your thing, and you'd be like, it's taking up the whole monitor. I can't find the button to minimize this. You know, that problem is less of a problem today. But what I'm saying is, is as a professional trying to make a game, don't make your game do something stupid on somebody's less cool system than yours. So consider that person and maybe make it start at a lower resolution if you're going to go with windowed mode. Now, if you're going to full screen mode, not so much of a problem. Um, another thing that's kind of cool I like that Corona did is they have set a minimum width and height, which is really smart. So, for example, what this is doing is telling us that if, if, that, if these rules were applying to this window here, that I could not drag it and make it smaller than a certain resolution, no matter how hard I tried. So uh, another thing that I've seen in the olden days is that um, games didn't have this kind of protection, and then you would drag your, make your game too small, and uh, then you would, the bar would go away, you couldn't drag it. The only option left at that point would be to maximize or quit, and you could never get it to the point where you could redrag the size. So what they're doing here is saying, Minimize uh, a change, disallow a certain minimum size. That way, there's always a bar to drag at the top. The buttons are accessible. Nothing is ugly. Also, it may it may make uh, it may make a difference in terms of playability. You may, your game may be completely unplayable beyond a certain minimum resolution. Now, all of these decisions are the kind of like things that you need to decide up front. Uh, but some things are less important than others. The big important things uh, that we've talked about so far are basically um, keeping in mind whether or not you're going to allow full screen, maximized. You're going to use windowed mode or full screen mode between those two. And then if you're going to support resizing. 